Hi everyone, welcome back to Solark's YouTube channel. My name is Bernie and today I will discuss part number two on how to connect your dongle to the internet through Wi-Fi. For this video, you must have both created a PowerView account and created a plant. Both of these videos can be found on the Wi-Fi setup playlist you're on. You also need to make sure that you connect the dongle to the Solark so it has power. For this video, we'll be using the IP address method to connect or reconnect the dongle to the Wi-Fi, so select Done. As you can see, the IP address method plant is not connected to the internet, so we'll be going to the settings, looking for the EAP network with the last five digits on your serial number on the dongle, input the password 1234567. And then hit join. This will connect you to the network of the dongle. Go to any browser and on the search bar select 10.10.10.1 and it will bring you to this page. Scroll down to the bottom and Wi-Fi connections hit scan. This will bring up all of your available networks. Find your home network, input the router password, select connect, Set OK, hit close, and as you can see the connection status is connected OK. So then we'll go back to the settings, exit the EAP network and reconnect to your home network. We'll go back to the PowerView Pro app and after a couple of minutes you can refresh and see that your plant is now connected or reconnected to the internet. Since we do not need Ethernet communication, we need to plug this hole at the bottom of the dongle with the holeless sealing plug to ensure that the product is in a sealed state by just pressing the plug. It should take around 60 seconds for the lights to turn on after the setup is complete. The red LED means the dongle is connected to the Solark and has power. The green LED means the dongle is connected to the internet and the server. If the green LED is flashing, the dongle is connected to the router, but not the server. This is usually a VPN or firewall issue. Therefore, you want to ensure your router has internet access. We also recommend that you enable the DHCP function of the router and enable remote services access ports 51100 and 80. That's it for this video on part number two on Wi-Fi connections. Please stay tuned for the rest of the Let's Get Started playlist.